So video is everywhere, everyone's using it. Of course, I'm gonna shout about it, I run a video company, but there is a problem with video when you use it as a content machine, and that is that it's absolutely no good for SEO, because Google can't read the words that are in your video. It, it will do at some point, AI is on its way, but at the moment, there's no system there to be able to extract those keywords from a video so that you can gain SEO benefit from it. So what's the solution? Well, it's to transcribe it. And in this video, I'm gonna run through two ways that you can do that. Okay, so the first way to transcribe your video is to get a pen and a piece of paper. No, I'm joking. You don't need to do that anymore, nor would I recommend you do that. It's far too time consuming. There's a free way to do it now using Google's voice recognition software. And just to show you how that worked, I did a small test a minute ago and I used my phone. So you need a decent smartphone to do this. And then you need a document app like uh, Google Docs or a memo taking app on your phone. Um, open that up and on the keyboard, select the little voice um, input device, which is the microphone, and then position that right next to the speaker or to the voice, uh, wherever that's coming from. So I did this on the very introduction of this video that I just recorded now. Um, I tried to do it over here at first, actually, and it didn't work very well at all. So I moved the microphone right next to the speaker, and it pretty much got every single word um, absolutely accurately. So you can see there that that text is pretty much exactly the same as the introduction to this video. So that worked really well. If you just pause this video and have a look at that, you'll be able to read it. So that's the first way you should try. It's free and it should be really quick. You might need to go through and tweak a couple of the different words. If you find that doesn't work for you, if Google doesn't recognize your accent or if you're in an environment where things are a little bit noisier, then you might wanna use a paid service like Rev.com. And Rev.com will allow you to upload a bit of video or a bit of audio to their site and then they'll charge you a dollar a minute to transcribe it so 60 or 80 pence if you had a 20 minute podcast it costs you about 10 or 15 pounds and then they'll send that audio uh, that transcription back to you and you can use that um, as your blog post or as your text for SEO on your site but I think it's really interesting to think about how you can use these services in different ways. So let's say you're a bit more of a talker rather than a writer, but you know that you've got to produce blog posts or content for your site. Well, you could do that while you're on the go. You could have uh, voice recognition opened up or a video opened up and you could record your thoughts down onto the video and then use those services to transcribe that video into text. One of the drawbacks of using the Google process is that I found that I kept having to press the button because if you stop talking for a couple of seconds, it switches it off. So that's a situation where you might want to record video, which isn't going to switch off. And then later on, when you get a chance to sit down in front of a computer, you can use that video to do the Google voice recognition process. So if you think something like this is going to be useful in your business, or if you're already using a process like this, leave a comment down below and don't forget to click subscribe so you can get the next video.